everyone and welcome back to cinema. This week what we are going to cover are the 1940s. Now this is one of the most instrumental times in filmmaking history and the two films that I want you to watch because if there were two, two of the most important films of all time come out in this decade. And if you're only going to watch two for every single week then what you have to watch are Citizen Kane and The Bicycle Thieves. Now, these two represent the trajectory of film from this point forward. Citizen Kane is a groundbreaking film and is probably 20 years ahead of its time. Now, the only reason that it was made was because, well, you have Orson Welles, who is this dynamic, incredible, really ultra-famous person, and he's 24 years old. And he gets this contract in Hollywood where he gets a two-picture deal with no restrictions. So he gets to do whatever he wants. And he sets out to make the greatest film of all time. And he kind of does. And so what he ends up doing is first he finds a screenwriter who knew William Randolph Hearst and knew all of William Randolph Hearst's dirty secrets. And he had spent like decades with him. And he wrote out this screenplay and then Orson Welles took it, started reading it, and then rewrote it and started putting a lot of himself into the script as well. So you get this hybrid that's part Orson Welles, part William Randolph Hearst, and it's going into this new world and this film ruins both of their lives. So William Randolph Hearst, his, his empire is starting to decline. That is the, for those of you who don't know who he is, he is a newspaper mogul and when the film comes out, he did not like the way that his wife was portrayed, the way that all of his dirty secrets were getting out. And so he tried everything he could to destroy the film and to destroy Orson Welles. He even was able to successfully get the FBI to open up investigations on Orson Welles because he kept calling and painting him as a communist within his newspapers. And his newspapers were widely circulated. Orson Welles spent the rest of his time trying to kind of make sure that the movie stayed afloat. And in the end, this film completely transforms the way movies are made. No film had been told out of sequence before this movie. So this is the first screenplay that gives you things like, for those of you who like Memento, or if you like almost any Quentin Tarantino script, you can thank this film because this is what showed everyone how to take a story and move it out of sequence. And then they just started inventing camera angles. So because you had a new filmmaker, they would start to film these things and sometimes Orson Welles would just push the camera guy out of the way or the director of photography and be like, can you do this? And he would just invent new camera angles. They also invent deep focus photography. And what they do is the picture clarity in this film, if you compare it to any of the others, it's again, decades ahead of its time. And it's because they figured out that if you really amplified the lights in the background, you could actually capture the subject in perfect focus in the foreground and have it beautiful and in focus in the background as well. So you get cinematography that is unlike anything else at this point. So I definitely want you to watch this film. Also, the acting, especially from Orson Welles, is top notch. This film only wins one Oscar. It's nominated for a bunch and it only wins one and that's for best screenplay and mostly because of all of the headaches that William Randolph Hearst tried to give that production. But the film is still around and if you ask every director and on every list of the top greatest films of all time, this is always number one or number two because it's the film that showed everyone what you could do. The next film that you can choose to watch is called, or not choose, that you have to watch is The Bicycle Thieves. Now this film comes out of Italy and this is right after World War II. So Italy used to be this, this really prosperous empire and now it's in shambles. And they have all of these incredible filmmakers and this one filmmaker comes out and he decides I'm gonna make a film and I'm not gonna go big blockbuster. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make a movie about normal people. I'm gonna use one camera and I'm gonna use real people. And what he does is he films one of the most beautiful films ever made. 
the bicycle thieves. In the film, he this the, the the director was so incredible. He was able to take regular people and turn them into Oscar-winning actors. So everybody you see in the film, none of them are professional actors, but you won't notice. You won't notice because he was such a brilliant acting teacher that he's capturing these moments in such perfect ways that you are captivated and pulled into the story. Now, every film that is an independent film or a smaller production that focuses on just the elements of being human can thank this movie. So the big budget blockbusters, those can thank Citizen Kane and all of your small independent like passion pieces. All of those can be attributed to the bicycle thieves. All right, everyone, enjoy the films and I cannot wait to talk to you about them. So I'll see you on the other side.